Onion 4.3 OS is officially here. Let's go install it. Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by. This is Retro Fun Tech. So today I have a fun tutorial for the MiU Mini and the MiU Mini Plus on updating the Onion custom firmware operating system. Onion OS 4.3 is officially released and no longer in beta. In this video, I will walk you through how to update over the air on the MiU Mini Plus and how to upgrade from Onion 4.0 or greater to 4.3 via a PC. Again, you will already need to be on Onion in order to follow this guide. I just want to stress that. However, I will show a cool little program called Onion Tools later in the video that will help you if you are planning on switching from the stock OS to Onion OS. So let's first check out what we can look forward to on 4.3. Here in the Onion blog, we can see the release notes. The 4.3 release includes new systems such as Nintendo DS, and Pico 8. A lot of new and updated apps such as a battery monitor and a blue light filter. Support for the version 4 original MiU Mini because it had issues with the 560 pixel screen as well as a lot of other new features and fixes. Now here I have my MiU Mini Plus. Since this has Wi-Fi built in we can do a cool OTA or over-the-air update to the new 4.3 firmware. Now before you start, you will need to have your device connect to Wi-Fi. Once that is done, then you can go into Apps and then select the Onion OTA Update. The app will switch to this black screen, which might look familiar if you have ever updated the Onion firmware before. Once the app is done running, the initial setup, you will see this screen where it's asking if you want the stable or beta release of the firmware. You want to select stable because 4.3 is officially stable at this point. Plus, there isn't any beta firmware at this point in time. Once you select stable, the next screen you will see is this, where it found the stable 4.3 version. Also, it shows what version you are on at the top. Now, it's honestly as easy as just following the prompts. Select A, then it will ask you if you want to download the firmware. Select yes and then it will start to download the file. This whole update took about five, 10 minutes. So go make lunch, hang out with your pets, make them lunch, go make grass angels, you get the idea. You will need to periodically check back to see if it's at the next step. So don't get too distracted. Once it downloads the file, it will ask you if you want to apply it and select yes. Now it will install the file. So a few more minutes of waiting, then it will say to press A to reboot. And now you will be greeted with this screen, giving you some info on the new firmware and it will start installing it. Once the installation is done, it will go back to the main screen and you did it. Now to get Nintendo DS and Pico 8, you need to go to the package manager under apps. There you will tab over to the expert section and then scroll down until you find Nintendo DS and select that. Then scroll down to Pico 8. Make sure that you select the standalone version if you see others. The standalone has the ability to utilize Splore so you can actually browse the carts on the Pico 8 website. Before we get into all that, let's finish the N Nintendo DS. You will need to put your SD card back in your computer and move over the DS game files. Navigate to the card and then ROMs. And then if you don't see a folder called NDS, just create one, just like you see here, all caps. Now you can copy over your DS files to that folder and then go have fun. Now let's get back to Pico 8. If you are planning on using the updated Pico 8 standalone core, you will need to purchase a copy of it from the link below. It's $15, but honestly, it is so well worth it because there are thousands of games that you can end up playing. If you don't do the following steps, you won't have access to Splore, which is how you can browse and play the games or carts on Pico 8. You will likely see this message. To play Pico 8 natively, you will need some data files from the purchase license.
After you purchase it, you go to the download section and select the Raspberry Pi version. Next, open your Raspberry Pi Pico 8 file and find these two files. Copy these files over onto the R app slash Pico 8 slash bin folder on your Onion OS SD card. Put the card back into your device and you will now find Pico 8 within the apps menu of Onion OS. You will need to refresh the ROMs as well. For the noise, you are good. Now just a side note for those that might have thrown the Pico wrapper on their device with the 4.2 firmware update through the Reddit post in the description below. I didn't need the Reddit tar files for my original MIU Mini, which I will do the firmware update for and show in just a moment. The Pico wrapper is now part of the 4.3 firmware update. You just need the two files that we copied over just a minute ago and you will be all set. Also, just a reminder, you will need to be connected to Wi-Fi on your Mio Mini Plus in order to access the Splore browser menu. Now, if you don't want to use Splore or you have an original Mio Mini, you can add, manually add games or carts, as they're called, from the Pico 8 website. In the games window, there will be a little cart icon on the bottom left. Right click on that and select Save As. The file will be saved as a PNG file and that's it, that's the Pico 8 cart. All right, so original Miu Mini firmware update. Since the original Miu Mini doesn't have Wi-Fi, we have to do the update on a PC. So turn off your Miu Mini and take out the card, and then you wanna put it in your PC. Then you wanna click on the link in the description below that says Onion Homepage. Now, don't get scared, but we are gonna use a very cool program called Onion Desktop Tools. And that's linked right here on the page. So click to download it. Once it's downloaded, navigate to your downloads and extract that file. Once that is done, open the folder. Again, don't get scared. All you need to do is find the file named Onion Desktop Tools Launcher with console.bat or batch file. Now, once you click that, you will likely see some pop-ups just double checking if you want to run this file and say yes or follow on the screen. It will take a moment and then a couple of windows will pop up and look like this. Now don't get scared of the left one, it looks like a command prompt. Just focus on the right gray window. Now remember in the beginning how I said that you need to be already using Onion OS? Well, if you happen to be watching this and want to do a fresh install of Onion, this program will let you do that. For that, you would use the middle selection and follow the prompts. But we aren't going to do that. Instead, we will choose the top selection that says install slash upgrade slash reinstall Onion. Next, it will ask, what drive are you using? So you wanna make sure that you know which drive is your SD card, and then select the Miu SD card and click OK. On the next screen, we want to select the stable version of 4.3. So click that, and then click Download. The firmware file will download, and you can see the progress in the top window, and the left window will indicate when it has finished downloading. Now you should see the Onion Extractor window. Select your 4.3 form firmware file and click OK. A confirmation window will pop up just double checking you. Just hit yes. You will see another progress bar at the top. When that has completed, make sure you check the left window and it will say installation complete. And you did it. Give yourself a high five. Just like earlier with the Plus version, you will be greeted with the installation screen, giving you some info on the new firmware. Once the installation is done, it will reboot and go back to the main screen. Also, just like earlier, to get Nintendo DS and Pico 8, you will need to go to the Package Manager under Apps. Tab over to Expert and then scroll down until you find Nintendo DS and click On. Then scroll down to Pico 8 and also click On. Make sure you select the standalone version. Then you are good. Make sure you pop your card back in your PC 
and move over the DS and Pico 8 game files. And then go have fun. So that's it for the installation. Hopefully that wasn't too hard to follow. It's a little bit of work to get things running with Pico 8, but that system is just so very cool. It's just really great to be able to play 8-bit games that people have made and uploaded to the site. Also, I have a link in the description below for the hotkeys for the Nintendo DS emulator called Drastic. If you click on that, you can see the chart that I have on the screen. I still love and carry around my Miu Mini Plus because it's such a pocketable device. Now with the 4.3 Onion software, it's even better. I will leave links in the description below for the Miu Mini Plus and even the original Miu Mini that you can see here on the screen. There is an official site through AliExpress that has quite a bit of stock of the original Mini version 4, so I would check that if you were interested in getting an original Miu Mini. So that's going to wrap up this guide for the Onion OS 4.3 on the Miu Mini and the Mini Plus. It's just amazing to see the developers of Onion always coming out with new features and improvements to the firmware. As always, be sure to like, subscribe, and even share this video to someone who has a Miu Mini or someone that needs a Miu Mini or a Plus so they can have some retro fun in their life. That should be everybody in my opinion. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Stay awesome everyone and go play some games.